Thanks for tuning back in. I'm Tommy Campbell, still bald, still in my basement, and still hoping that since Mike Lindell can't pay his attorneys, he'll represent himself. He's said many times that he could be a lawyer. Now, if Lindell's legal skills are as sharp as his alphabet skills, it will be the can't-miss courtroom comedy of all time. A, they probably don't live in the state anymore, obviously, or B, they really did pass away, or D... What a wild week it has been. Kevin McCarthy was ousted from his position, marking the first time a U.S. Speaker of the House has been voted out, and since then, the party of family values has gone full dumpster fire. I will be getting into hot takes for House Speaker from Marjorie Taylor Greene, an exclusive statement from Mitch McConnell, plus a deep dive into cartoon villain dyed mustache maniac Lumpy Lindell's latest self-sabotage. But first, this. And we want him to get his good financials going again. Yep and a good strong military and just some good morales and patriotism. It is incredible that these people genuinely believe that Biden, someone with a son who actually served and actually listens to experts, is less competent than the guy who had his dad pay to fake bone spurs so he could avoid the draft, someone who said that he knew more than the generals and said that John McCain isn't a hero because he was captured and that troops are losers and suckers. But we are dealing with the get good financial going bunch that look like the people you'd see outside a pawn shop hoping to get some money for their paper bag of licked nine volts. Good financial going again. It is pouring MAGA tears. And it's my birthday, so thanks for spending some time with me. Join the good people in the comments and laugh along while I blast the latest in stupid and more. Currently, there is a lot of talk about potential speakers. And whoever the next speaker is, they must get rid of the motion to vacate. Some are suggesting the former president... But anyone that's been downwind of Donald Trump knows he is someone who vacates in motion. Others have put forward Jim Jordan, but this isn't a wrestling locker room where you can just look the other way. Now myself and Ted Cruz like the idea of Representative Lauren Boebert. I think Ms. Boebert has proven her risk skills in public and private, and I know I would enjoy seeing her work that gavel slow and steady. Maybe to some white snake. Can I get a bump? Lindell tore a page out of Donald Trump's ghost-written book and has stopped paying the attorneys defending him in the cases that he begged to be brought against him. Uh, the lawyers uh, for that we had for myself uh, and for my pillow uh, for the in the Dominion Smartmatic Eric Coomer lawsuits, they um, they went to the uh, the federal judge to withdraw uh, from the cases because. Uh, uh, they can't, they're, uh, we can't afford it. We can't pay him anymore. And not only can he not pay, they've run the numbers and they can see that he's got himself into a hole so deep that he'll never get out. And he did this to himself. He asked to be sued and considered it a badge of honor. And well, this is where he's at. Media that I was their darling. And now they're, go they're, they're going, uh, oh, gee, let's, fr let's protect these companies called Dominion and Smartmatic. Let's not hold them accountable. Let's go after my pillow and jump on my pillow and, and destroy my pillow. Well, if your pillow can't handle a bit of jumping, then it's not a very good product. My kid loves to pile pillows and leap off the bed onto them. Never had a problem. Not once have I ever been like, hey, hey, take it easy on those pillows. Okay, you could damage, you could damage them. They're pillows, okay? They're very sensitive pieces of material. I may sound desperate or whatever, Brandon, but you know what? I'm out of money. I, I and, uh, don't think you sound desperate. I think you sound passionate and concerned about the country. Uh, we, we need to save our country. Oh, I think he sounds very desperate, and Brandon should be very worried. He totally lucked into this gig. Lindell pumped millions into what he calls the biggest broadcast place ever. Can't tell. And if he's going to zero, budget Max Hedrum, well, he'll be back to, what, AM radio, maybe? I hired a lawyer because she kind of totally looked like the pretend supermodel wife who won't let me near her box. And I got stuck with a lawyer who forgets to check boxes. This is really cool. We would like to know if we buy stuff at uh, my pillow, can we say we want to forego the discount code and just pay full price? Can we do that? Can you give us a code that allows us to pay full price? Yeah, you can go to pay. You can ask. Can you give us a code that allows us to pay full price? Yes, it's called no code. Don't put a code in. Again, Biden's America. 
is going pretty good when people are negotiating for higher prices. And care about you, and we will step up and we will start sending more money to Lindell Legal Fund, and we will go in and we will buy product at my pillow because you are standing up for us and you are standing behind us and beside us. We will stand beside you. Wow. And I'm going to get off the phone because the next call is probably going to tell you the same thing. We love you. God bless you. Don't give up. You're not broke. What What do you think about that? If your eyes are open, you see that it's, it's all a gimmick. They're trying to take Trump out. He's the one person that's going to bring the uh, United States back, and, and he's... You know, he's what we look. He's a person we look to, and I don't. I could care less about any of those indictments. And most people I talk to think it's a hoax. I think it's a movie. <laughs> it's a movie. That's a good line. If you could care less, that means you really do care a lot about the indictments. Most people, this solid scorching right wing ten, gonna need another cold shower. Talks to thinks it's a hoax. Yeah, I don't think she's going to be reading any court documents or property tax filings between high-fiving her fellow window lickers and never-surrender shirts that show their defeated former president surrendering. Just think of this. This month has been a lot. It started off with lumpy pillows, right? Right. <laughs> They're not lumpy, everybody. They're the most comfortable pillow you'll ever own. You can see the lumps in the pillow he's holding up. They're right there. I mean, th the design is a sack of chopped up foam. A sack of lumps. Lump. Lumpy. Lumps. I talked to my employees today. I had all thousand, you know, thousand, over a thousand on the on a big Zoom call and said, "You guys, we will get through this. God has our back. We pray every morning, every morning for wisdom and discernment." How's that working out for you, Mike? And how can this guy have 1,000 people on a Zoom call but can't have one guest on his show without the stream crashing? Okay, if prayer makes you feel good, that's great. But you have to work to solve problems. I want a mechanic that tightens the bolts with a wrench, not with his mind powers. I go to borrow money so I could pay. I go to borrow money so to keep stuff going, to pay, you know, keep attorneys going, keep everything going. They ain't going to borrow. Who's going to borrow? Who's going to borrow Mike Lindell money when you see all this stuff in the news? They're going down. They're going down. Well, a financial institution isn't eager to work with someone who constantly complains about his business tanking. This guy has red flags even with the basics. Who's going to borrow Mike Lindell money? Borrow means to take something from another person knowing you will give it back to them. A lend means to give something to another person expecting to get it back. Thank you. I see every tip from pennies to dollars. They are hugely appreciated and help make this show possible. If you love what I do here and you can afford to help out, throw me a buck with the PayPal link in the pinned comment or drop me a super thanks with this button. And please take two seconds after this video to follow me on Facebook and Instagram. These things are free and help the show grow. Thank you. Imagine an auctioneer coming up in a truck going, here, 52, 52. No, it's some worldwide online auction. Well, what did the media do there? Does everybody remember Mike Lindell, the rise and fall of Mike Lindell? My pillow's done. They're auctioning off everything. Oh, that's cute that you imagined what would go down, but this is real life. And since you pay as much attention to reality as you pay to lawyers, you didn't ask, is this a live auction like I imagined? Or is it online with no reserves where my forklifts will go for $20? Alex here, still in the bunker with Marjorie again. Good dude. Our bunker is currently a command center to push for Donald J. Trump to be the next Speaker of the House because the globalists in Washington, D.C. hate him. And he is the only leader that can be trusted to save America and the world from the source Trudeau Panda Express. We have been broadcasting tirelessly so much we have not even slept. And when my gorgeous blonde meat swamp gets extra swampy and she needs to pick me up, she has me shower, shock her, Rambo style, okay? I bought a fire hose on the dark web, and I zip-tied the Georgia Gremlin near the emergency storm drain, and I'm more than happy to Brian Dennehy unload that icy reverse osmosis water at maximum power on her delusional CrossFit scrap tendon body. Can we keep the chunder bucket at the ready, please? If I see her toe collection that looks like someone took a half-nibbled and totally shriveled turning white baby carrots from the bottom of Lauren Boebert's hamster cage and had Ivanka Trump's overseas fashion sweatshop workers stitch the blotchy, misshaped digits to an expired container of Tucker Carlson's family Swanson Salisbury steak with mystery gravy they got stuffed in a musky cupboard instead of the deep freeze. And when the needle hits the cardboard, it is ready to go full Wuhan. Because what is the rule, MTG? The socks stay on. The socks stay on. 
because during all this, these ships get hung up for our great sheets that are coming in for our, um, for our big all our Christmas stuff that's coming in. This all all this stuff was supposed to be here in September. We don't get it till October. I don't know twentieth. So we can't run ads on TV to sell you, or we don't have those those items. So here we are, and now during this time, we can't pay lawyers. Okay, wait. Your Made in America products are stuck at sea? Oh, that's right. Your sheets and cotton come from Egypt. He even say it in his ads, Giza, but his base just thinks Giza is like Lindell speak for good. I laugh at the thought of these ultra MAGA patriots in their Middle East sheets. You talk show clown are the text... Bach example of liberal disease. Mega tears. Dog, you suck. Mega tears. Biden's hyperinflation is killing our country. He is printing billions of dollars and handing away to Ukraine and illegal immigrants, thus causing the devaluation of our currency. Mega tears. Plus a deep dive into cartoon villain dyed mustache maniac Lumpy Lindell's latest self sabotage. <laughs> At maximum power on her delusional CrossFit scrap tent body. <laughs> Can we get the game? Just gender bucket. And I know I would enjoy seeing her working that gavel slow and steady. Maybe to some white snake. Okay, if I see so much as a flicker of her toe collection, it looks like someone took the half nibbled and totally shriveled, turning white baby carrots from the bottom of Lauren Bober's hamster cage. Mountain Dew, you ruined my take. Thanks so much for watching. Help me out by joining us in the comments, sharing this video with a friend, and following me on social media. I am a one-man show here from script to screen, the editing, even the graphics. Please throw me a tip with the easy PayPal link or hit that super thanks button and be sure to check out my mugs that go great with those MAGA tears. I am a stand-up comedian, I've played in 35 countries, and I've toured with Jim Jeffries for nearly 10 years. I have three albums and a brand new EP from my opening set on Jim's latest Netflix special. You can stream these on Spotify, Apple Music, or catch them on SiriusXM. Thanks for helping me make this show possible. Life's short. Be cool. Be kind. Take care.